of the why can't i do this <laughs> <laughs> are you ready okay. yeah i'm ready all right at the beginning we didn't really know what we were doing we would just spit on ideas and eventually the idea of fairy tales came up the rest is pretty much history the fact that neverland is this um, fantastical place that is, you know, second star to the right and it's magic. When you think about the original story and then, of course, the Disney adaptation, I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on there, so there's a lot of stuff to work with. And I love Peter Pan, like, ever mm -hmm. since I was a kid, so I think we did a really good job on trying to, like, deviate ourselves from, like, what's been done. I think at first everyone was, like, kind of on the same level of confused and, like, the chaotic energy never left the room. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about this? No. Why is the word gay on the studio? The studio is gay. I mean, I'm next question. question. When you're in a group, you're obviously you can't choose the people that you work with. Um, <laughs> to collaborate with other people and effectively make make something out of this uh, something tangible out of this this yeah. this project it's good practice for real world situations it was very much like we were all working together to um, kind of built this world we were creating illustrations for a purpose it felt like we were like working in a studio where you had to deliver stuff by deadlines and there was you know, discourse, commentary, and you fix the designs based on that. It was very much like you were working for something bigger than yourself, which was cool. It's better than just, you know, the one-off projects you usually get for classes. I feel like it forced us to really, like, talk to people more than we ever really would in, like, a full class. I can honestly say that I probably didn't talk to, like, 60% of the classroom, like, often you, you kind of like stick to people that you are comfortable with, but this made you like comfortable with everyone, which was really cool. It was a bit stressful at first. Uh, we took a little bit to kind of get our bearings and understand, you know, stylistically what we're going for. I think initially my biggest concern was like the meshing of the styles. It was a little difficult for me because I felt like my style differed a lot from the rest of the class. I kind of feel people had other ideas. Honestly, with the project changing midway, I, I, I feel like people weren't really into the competitive nature that the game created because it, it had to have some consistency with style, the aesthetic. I feel like there was, I feel like there was a clear cut vision of what we wanted at first. Like we wanted a game and we wanted an art book to kind of like supplement it on the side we realized that we bit off more than we could chew. That type of stumble kind of led to a lot of confusion and a lot of times we were just very anxious about what was gonna be the end result. We didn't know like what we were gonna have to show for ourselves. Initially I was like, why are we doing this? I thought we we're just gonna do another free project. As a leader, my personal concern was um, not having everybody on board with the project. I was really focused on making everybody Happy. Every project has highs and lows, um, and the lows were really low for me, like I said. But I think the high points outweighed the negative. Um, just seeing people get excited about ideas uh, was very reward rewarding for me. When we uh, initially pitched the project and we were throwing out ideas for the story, and I could see the wheels in people's heads turning, um, we came uh, outside of class, we met up early, to talk about it. <laughs> Alright, let's go, lesbians! Alright, lesbians! Alright, lesbians! Alright, lesbians! <laughs> we had an online chat and we were talking about it constantly. Uh, it wasn't just an in-class project, but we were very into it. Uh, at first I was nervous. I didn't know like how things would work out and the weight of things and where things would end up. Uh, but I actually like it. I think it's nice. I wasn't sure like what's the level they're expecting. And after um, Jane's like coming in and speaking to us we were like this is a lot now this we have to pull like we have to do something really cool i felt very proud just um going from brainstorm and discussion to seeing it fully realized um it was difficult about 
the other difficult parts about working on a collaborative project, uh, you're crossing the threshold of thinking about yourself to thinking about the bigger picture. Now that we're also having an exhibition, I now get to see how people react to the work in person. Um, would you do a project like this again if given the chance? I think so. I'd like to try it. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. It would be, I think it would be really awesome to do it again. Yeah, for sure. Yes. I would absolutely. I think I would too. Yeah. Given the chance, yes. Um, with a lot more structure. <laughs> but I found that I do like working with groups. Say that again. <clears throat> that I... I found that I really do enjoy working collaboratively. Yeah. 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 That was a confident yes. Yeah. Good. I would chance. do it again if, you know, taking everything we learned from this, I'm not as afraid of like a giant group project as much anymore. Yes, but with more direction. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would do it. It's cool. We have to do it, right? I really would do this project again. Um, I think it's a really good push for all of us and I feel like just working with peers is just so important. The more people you have, the more eyes you have. So they'll be able to see more of what I probably couldn't see in my own designs. Y'all yeet. I chose to do this because I felt that uh, students don't get enough chance to work like seriously collaboratively because that's the way the world works. <laughs> Even if you're an isolated illustrator, you'll the best work you'll do will be collaborating with your client. What were your expectations for this project versus the reality of what we did? It's probably very close to what I expected. How do you think we did? Yeah. I think you did great. Yeah. It's just like, you leave for 30 minutes and it all goes to hell. <laughs> I was constantly concerned that it could go very wrong. Smells like garbage. I'm proud of the fact that you guys worked through all of the levels of emotions and problems and conflict that exist in the real world and I think this is probably the closest thing a lot of you have experienced to what a real project is going to feel like when you're when you're in the industry. Um, any last comments or pieces of advice for us? Uh, remember what happened here you know this you'll experience this again and 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 you'll be more empowered to be in control of the next time this happens. Anything else that you wanted to add any other comments? Uh, anything about Dan? Dan's the man. Dan. <laughs> Dan's the man. <laughs> um, shout out to Dan. Dan, you're the man. No. <laughs> anything you want to say to Dan's shirt? Um, yeah, shout out to Dan. Dan's the man. Dan himself. Uh, Dan, please. Dan is the man. <laughs> Great idea, you crazy bastard. <laughs> <sighs> Dance the man. Yes! Dance the man. Uh, yes!